Hi, this is a demo of Big ID's data intelligence platform focused on catalog capabilities. Big ID is the data intelligence platform to know and manage your data. Big ID is unique because the platform is built on a core discovery foundation with machine learning to know your data. Big ID is also unique because the platform sits at the intersection of privacy, security, and governance. And it all starts with a machine learning augmented catalog. For example, Big ID tackles governance using machine learning for deep discovery to add context at scale to know what your data is and how it is related and connected to other data sources in your environment. Because you can't govern data unless you know what your data is and where it is and what it means, or you can't govern what you don't know. To know your data, Big ID adds classifiers and tags to identify all of your data objects. Customers can automatically apply attributes that add context, tag objects that include sensitive information, and classify objects by data type and even custom sensitivity levels. The Big ID catalog is privacy aware by identifying sensitive information and even going a step deeper to add policy tags and notifications for regulation compliance. With Big ID, data users can see what their data is, if it is sensitive, and if they are at risk of violating any policies like CCPA or GDPR. Bridging into security, the Big ID catalog shows what data objects are duplicates or have open access. This is important for risk minimization to identify and remediate any data that is duplicate or sensitive data that has open access. Big ID's data catalog provides that insight to take action to remediate and then audit to ensure the action was taken, all within the Big, Big ID platform. For a visual representation of Big ID, this image illustrates how Big ID is reimagining the machine learning data catalog. The base layer here illustrates all of the Big ID connectors to connect your data. Big ID's data intelligence platform connects to any and all data source. So if it's structured or unstructured, semi-structured data, the data can live in the cloud, on-prem, in hybrid environments, and even scanning data pipelines. This is a huge differentiator for Big ID because the platform truly connects to any data source. It is unique to be able to manage structured data with unstructured data for your complete environment. Imagine being able to scan and gain intelligence about all the files, emails, S3 buckets, Salesforce notes, and more in a single platform. The middle layer is the discovery in depth. This is what Big ID calls its four Cs. And these are four lenses, catalog, classify, correlate, and cluster. Lenses to discover, define, and know your data. To know what your data is and how it's related to other data in your environment, and that way we can apply deeper insight and understanding. The top layer is how you action your data. This represents the layer of apps on top of the platform. And you can choose which apps you want to apply. For example, add a data quality app to measure and manage the quality of your data and then display those data quality scores in the catalog for users to choose data assets with context and quality. Or maybe add a data retention app to set retention policies to know when data should be archived or deleted, or to identify data that must be saved for a legal hold. The apps all integrate with the platform to provide control from a single point to consistently manage all of your data and audit actions and tasks. The apps include a variety of out-of-the-box functions and automation while enabling customization. So for example, you might want to set custom policies based on priorities for your organization. These are a series of critical differentiators for Big ID. We'll focus on just a couple. First, um, let's notice that the coverage of Big ID is broad. So that means that Big ID can, can scan and add context to any kind of data source, if structured or unstructured in the cloud or on-prem. So data at rest or in motion, any kind of data that you have in your environment, Big ID can automatically scan and classify and put into a single catalog view so you can manage all of your data in one view with all consistent, um, consistent rules. And Big ID has differentiator in context that we can discover in depth is the core platform. And so we have customized views to know your data. Big ID is going to add different kinds of machine learning and even has a patented machine learning engine to know your data with more context, see how it's related in your environment and discover insights that you wouldn't have otherwise had. Let's, introduce into the, let's transition over to the live demo and talk about some of the rest of these differentiators. Okay, now we are in the Big ID platform. As you can see, this is the dashboard home screen. You can see 
um, some sources here you can click through. You can also see the physical location of data in the environment. The first thing we're going to talk about here in the demo is the content coverage. So as I mentioned, Big ID is able to find all of your data sources and types. So it could be um, structured or unstructured data. It could be on the cloud, on-prem, wherever it is, Big ID can um, connect to it and add it to the catalog with automated scanning and discovery. So um, you can see here in our data environment, we have a whole selection of a variety of data sources and types. And I can also very easily add a new data source. Here are a selection of um, kind of pre-configured connectors to make it super easy to connect to your data. And as you can see, we have a whole variety of different um, data sources and types, on-prem, cloud, structured, unstructured data. It all exists with a very easy to use connection to import all of your data into the catalog for a single view of your data environment. Next up, we're talking about connectors, profiling, and lineage. So Big ID has native functionality to visualize how data is connected. Um, I'm sure you're all aware that as far as lineage, there are um, your lineage providers that have very sophisticated lineage tools and Big ID is able to ingest that lineage content and then add some um, add context to lineage. So now you can see that lineage with context in Big ID. Another way you can think about lineage here is with this data processing and sharing. Here's just an example of how we share some lineage in Big ID about just how data flows. So for example, these are all processes where we know that data is moving you know, from place to place within an organization. And um, this is just a data, a map of how data is flowing through an organization. It's just another kind of view of lineage in terms of processing and data flows. For profiling, the way that we do data profiling is I can use the catalog and I can see what kind of, um, you know, what my data looks like. So for example, um, let's look here at these attributes name. So I wanna look at everything that Big ID has determined has the attribute of name. And you can see here, I have a whole variety of different data sources where name came up, which is not surprising. So if I look at this, for example, marketing, I can see that right away if I'm looking for um, you know, some profiling information just to know about this data, I can see right away this marketing contains PI. That means it contains some sensitive information. I can see it was tagged as high risk. I can see more information that was um, basically tagged directly from Big ID with automated scanning and context. I can see the attributes. So then this marketing data object, I can see it has these different attributes connected with um, different classifiers for countries and addresses and names, which is also kind of to be expected in the marketing database. I can see different columns that are included in this data set. So city and country, I can see what type of characters, I can see the attributes and tags that they are applied here. And then I can see even a preview of the data to get an idea about what the data looks like to determine if it's what I'm really looking for in my data and what, um, you know, what the true data example is. I can also interact with the data in another way. If I see that there's something here that doesn't look quite right to me, I can collaborate with the data owners and I can report an issue about it to get resolved. Or I can set myself here as a watcher of the data to get alerts for everything changes with this data set that I am interested in. For data curation, here we're going to add context to data. The way that Big ID does that is kind of part of our core function, right? So we have correlation. Um, and in correlation, we're going to add context by seeing where the where data is um, is related to other data in our environment. So, for example, here in our email suggestion, we have email here in medical, and I can see that it is here in our patient information and in our notes information. And this is letting me know that the this email attribute is related to these different. Um, these different data sources as well. And they, I can click through to more of that to it's all interactive. The way that we're going to interact with our data is here in the cluster analysis. So I can get more curation, I can get more context for my data here in cluster analysis by being able to see what data is duplicate. So for example, in this employee information, this is all groups of similar data. 
And I can see based on how big the bubble is and how far away it is from other bubbles, how closely related it is to other data types and sources. And then if I want to click into my cluster analysis, I can click into the cluster, to click into the cluster and I can see, um, you know, some maybe saved queries. I can see top keywords, attributes. I can see objects for data source. I can get more information about the things that live in that in that bubble, things that are similar information, which is important to know if I'm looking for something to know um, if I have duplicate data, so I know that I'm using the right one, or if I'm doing a cleanup, or if I'm doing a cloud migration, for example, to know what data to, to migrate, just to know what is in my environment and what I need to, to know about it. I wanna show you also classification. Big ID is going to analyze your data, not just from the metadata, but the actual physical data. We're going to analyze that and determine what it is. And then we're going to add classifier. So you can use a whole selection of big ID out of the box classifications, classifiers, or you can set your own custom classifiers based on what is important um, in your organization. We're going to talk next about the search functionality. So once we have all of this data and it's all been um, reported into, it was all in found in big ID, I can search here in the catalog and find that data that I'm looking for. I can either search using these quick filters here at the side, or I can search using a, a quick um, keyword here. I can go back and see my recently viewed objects if I want to continue working on a project that maybe I was working on earlier. Or I can type in a keyword and see if I'm looking for some account is my keyword. I can see policies, view policies, tables, files to see um, all of the different different data objects or policies or data um, you know, objects that exist in Big ID related to my keyword search. For data access, again, if we go back to the catalog um, and we look back at any of that information. So for example, we're back in that marketing we we're looking at earlier today. I can go here to marketing and I can export at any point, you'll see this export is here and I can export data to, um, to have a report of the information I'm looking at. So if I'm looking at you know, a set of columns, I can export and I can see that um, to access to, to use that to integrate with other solutions as well. Next on our list, we talk about privacy controls. So we have privacy notifications, just like here contains PI, that just means it contains some sensitive information, depending on how you define that. Um, privacy controls means that I can see what data is sensitive, so I can determine how to protect it, who should have access to it. For example, um, we can do things like connecting externally to Snowflake. And in Snowflake, we have a way to say this data was determined to be sensitive in Big ID, which means that in Snowflake, you may need to make sure um, we can set some role-based access control and make sure that only people who should see the data are able to see it and everyone else, if you're not supposed to see that data, you get masking. So you get masked data and it happens dynamically. So as um, imagine this data is flowing into your Snowflake environment, being able to determine what is sensitive, who should have access, and then having that all enabled automatically, which is great because it means you're going to enable people who should have access to do very fast access for analytics. And you're going to um, make sure your data is protected. People who don't need to have access shouldn't see it. We also have access controls within Big ID. So under administration, you can see here we have access management. And that means we're able to add different users. As we add users, we can also assign them a role. And then we can go to their roles and determine based on their role, um, we can define at a very granular level what that user is able to do or not do. And it allows us to kind of give groups of users similar roles and similar access to have similar rights within the system for the big ID application itself. Finally, pricing and support. So on support, um, big ID offers award-winning customer support. We have staff around the globe. We offer continuous coverage for our customers. As far as pricing, pricing is going to be based on bands of data sources with apps. So packages are really customized based on your needs. Um, you can have more or less data connected and you could have more or less applications. So these are all the different kinds of applications that you can choose from. And you can also browse the marketplace to find more applications that you might want to add to take action on your data in Big ID. To learn more about any of these functions, I recommend that you contact us at bigid.com. And in summary, 
I want to leave you with the idea that Big ID is the platform to know your data. It's based on a core discovery. We can connect to all your data sources, structured, unstructured, on-prem, in the cloud. Doesn't matter where it is or what it is. We can connect it all in Big ID. You can see it all in the catalog. And this is really significant because if you imagine trying to do all of this manually, discovering your data, tagging it, um, applying policies, being able to determine what is sensitive, if you try to do it manually, it's almost impossible with the rate of data growth and change that we're seeing. So that's why, we date, that's why Big ID is reimagining data governance with a data catalog that connects to all your data sources. We deliver automated scanning and we add context at scale to know your data. And if any more questions, we'd be happy to talk with you. Please contact us or check out bigid.com for more information. And thanks for watching.